Enseña a los esclavos a somer, someterse, someterse en todo a sus amos, a procura agradarles y a no ser respondones. No deben robarles, sino demuestra que son dignos de toda confianza, para que en todo hagan honor a la enseñanza de Dios nuestro Salvador. Muy bien, ahora léelo en inglés, por favor. Teach slaves to be subject to their masters in everything, to try to please them, not to talk back to them, and to, not to steal from them, but to show them that they can be fully trusted, so that in every way they will make the teaching about God or Savior attractive. Right. Yesterday you used the word hypocrite. You said that because I asked you to give water to the dog. I didn't say that. And you say that you didn't want to or something like that. Then you said that it's okay for me to ask you to work even though I don't work. Yeah. Did you mention something like that? Yeah. All right. So... Well, there I'm is not this word either. there is this word called leadership and for some reason God put me ahead of you I was 29 years old when you were born so I'm 29 years ahead of you I've also spoken with grandfather right my grandfather and he told me how he got to be the person he was and he mentioned that before he ate breakfast, he fed the cat, the dog, the horse. That means he was responsible as a child. If I don't give you these responsibilities to feed the dog or to... The dog's not mine. The dog doesn't even like me. If I don't give you these responsibilities, then as an adult, you will become less than what you could become. Why don't you feed the dog now that you're an adult? You're not a responsible adult either. So you're most teaching of the me time, not to be a responsible adult. Most of the time, who feeds the dog? Anthony. And myself. Who is the one that mentions that the water bowl has to be cleaned and changed? Mom. And myself. There, I, I mention it to your mother so she'll mention it to you. Because well, apparently I, I you don't like... Well, I water anyways. It's not just putting water on top of the bowl. It's throwing out the water that's there, that's half, and cleaning the bowl. I do it with a napkin. Then, refilling it. But you only have to do that once a day. No, I do it at least twice. Why? Because I like them to have fresh water. Why don't you just do it once a day? Because by dinner time, the water is almost at the bottom. So why don't you do it one time at breakfast and one time at dinner time? Didn't I just say I do it twice a day? Yeah, but I don't know what time you do it. Maybe you do it at like 12 o'clock at night and the other one at lunchtime. Oh, what did you read in 2.9, Titus, Tito, those were? Teach your slaves to respect the word of God, but don't talk back to it. What I'm attempting to teach you is that if you read the Bible, you will become more intelligent than what you are. But you say if you read the Bible, you go insane. No, that's what the brother of Margarita said that some people read the Bible and become insane and there are two in one coin there are two sides what this means is if you read the Bible the Jehovah's Witnesses call it a you get a Bible trained conscience one thing would be 
no stealing. If I have to tell your brother or you three times to give water to the dog, then you are stealing my time. Because I tell you once, that's enough. You're wasting 10 seconds each time I have to repeat it. You understand? Yeah. So you're stealing. But you don't do anything anyways. Why can't you just do it? Because I want you to do it. You told me not to broom. I didn't tell you not to sweep. Oh, if I did, I said, do it after you mop. Are you crazy? You're supposed to broom first. There is a commercial on TV that says, wet dust cannot fly. Commercial. Ads. Do you think it's true? No, because it can't fly. Wet dust cannot fly. One day, I plan on taking you to a construction site. Would you believe there's a job for just one person to keep the dust from flying around? All he does is walk around, or she is walk around with a hose. Then when are they going to clean it? When we get there, you, you'll understand, and you'll say, oh, clearly this makes sense. Otherwise, I get so much dust in my face. You, no, you don't get so much dust in your face if you do it right. Back to leadership. God put me ahead of you for a reason. If uh, what I've learned is if I follow Christ, then your mother and you and your brother follow me. Well, you follow the freaking Jehovah the witnesses. Just yesterday I spoke about the Mormons and to myself, right? And the videos I make. The Mormons and the Jehovah's Witnesses, both, nine million, supposedly there are nine million Jehovah's Witnesses. How can they all agree with me in the sense that they say that I should limit television, that I should limit violent television, that I should do a family worship night? Every single night, yes. No. Once but that's a week. what you do every single night, every freaking morning. Now, starting off the day with the morning worship, that's something I saw in a video. The reason I do that's it... That's for people who have time, who don't do anything. You have a summer vacation. We're not going to be in summer vacation in two days. Well, that's the reason I do it now. Good morning. Hello, sir. So the point is, you're supposed to... We were supposed to be in the park 20 minutes ago. Me and go! I know, which is why I have to... You're supposed to be an obedient child. If, if I'm not hurting you, then you're supposed to be doing ob obedience. You're supposed to be obedient. Maybe I don't agree with your leadership qualities. Maybe a leadership should actually be a leader who does stuff. The coach does not have to run faster than the athlete. Because he already did when he was younger. And even if he did, there are still athletes half his age that could beat his best time when he was younger. Because it was a long time ago. Yes.